Hello, uh, quick update on the signal box. So I tried to build it and I've given up. So here's the roof. The roof, yes. So what is the roof? The roof is one very thin piece of card, another very thin piece of card, and another and another, and then the thing at the top. There's no guidance on how you're supposed to attach this. So it turns out like this end bit doesn't go corner to corner. So I tried to make this go right to the edge, the, the, this bit go right to the edge back here. It's not gonna work, it's just not gonna work. It's as simple as that. Um, but again, the instructions do not tell you this. All it says is arrow these things on here. That's all it says. Um, I built this lower part, that went okay actually. I then tried to place this onto here it just doesn't fit. <laughs> so it might do, you might be able to get it to fit. But as you can see here, um, it's damaged. It's just split. It just like the tiniest bit of pressure just split. And actually I think I split another another part of it as well when I try it again. This this whole thing it just it just flakes apart when it's built. Um, so I have now emailed them and said actually I, I didn't want to do this, but I've now emailed them and said actually I'd like a refund. Weirdly well, I've sent them two emails, apologies. One, one, I was just, I kind of vented at them and said, your instructions are terrible. This is awful. And like the roof, I can see through the roof. Like this, this, this paper is so thin. You can see through it. And you can see here, it's just, I, I can glue that back together. That's not a problem. But you can kind of see the specks of light coming from, so there's a light source here, which is a fish tank. All right. So you can see some light coming through here. Those specks of light you're seeing at the bottom is going through here. It's so thin you can see through it and they've, they've kind of like laser cut something. This thing is so fragile. As soon as I need to dust it, like after a couple of months it gets a bit dusty. As soon as I touch it, it's just, it's just going to fall to pieces. Really disappointed. Um, on the video that I uploaded a couple of hours ago, um, I did get some responses from other people saying that they've had similar issues with instructions, parts missing, um, the quality of the models basically, and the quality of the business sometimes. Like um, I think one guy... I think it was Highfell. He said he had to actually like speak to his bank and get a refund that way. And it's kind of funny because the second email I sent, I said, "Look, guy, I'm so I'm sorry." I sent them a picture of this, the damage on it, and I just said, "Look, I'm sorry. I I can't. This doesn't go together. This isn't working out. You know, I want a refund." Is basically what I said. And then, funnily enough, from that moment onwards, it's been complete radio silence. Now it is a Saturday afternoon, so these things are quite often like one man bands or one or two people um, running them. So maybe they've just gone out for the day, maybe they've stopped answering their emails. Maybe they'll look at it on Monday. I'll, I'll give them some benefit of the doubt. But this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is a substandard product. Um, the instructions were non-existent. Actually, they were terrible, even when I got them. And apparently, I'm not the only one that gets um, delivery delays and made up excuses as to why stuff didn't turn up. Um, so I'm not at all impressed with this. You know, this 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 just doesn't fit together. This, this whole thing is just poorly designed, I think. Um, and actually, it probably works okay at double O scale. It's probably all right. I have a funny feeling what's happened is they've they've gone on their software and they've said, "Can I can I have one of these at sixty six percent, which will get you down to TT scale?" And then you know, fired up the, the the laser printer or whatever, or the laser yeah, the laser cutter or whatever. Um, and they 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 probably can put them together because they design them and they've probably put them together loads and loads of times as they're iterating and designing and iterating and and so forth. And they haven't actually considered well how easy is this thing to put together. Um, there's no mention of a skill level on here. There's there's nothing. So um, I'll await what they say. But as far as I'm concerned, this this product is unfortunately simply not fit for purpose. And I didn't want to ask for a refund, but now I am because I'm just I'm just kind of annoyed with it. Because like, how is this supposed to fit? It's literally just a piece of card. It doesn't it doesn't slot in. Is there's no there's no guidance for it. And of course, if you put the slightest bit of glue on there to to glue this and that together. Well, the glue's just going to ooze out, isn't it? So you have to use microscopic bits of glue and the whole thing is going to be so fragile. It's just not going to work. So, yeah, um, from, from me, mo the Modelux thing, a hard no. Do not buy this. Do not buy anything from them. I'm not the only one that's had poor service. Um, I hate to say it. I genuinely hate to say it. But someone who's new to the hobby, yeah, this is my experience. So I, I don't want to... I don't want to labour it too much. Anyway, right, so that's enough of that. So what I'm probably going to start doing now is getting back on that 3D designing thing because I, I decided to do this 
instead of 3D printing my own signal box, because all the signal boxes I found online were one big piece. Um, and the problem with that is, well, okay, you got to you got to paint this, but you got to paint that bit. And I know painting is a weak part of mine. I know it always will be probably. Um, so that's why I got this, because in theory it needed no painting. What I didn't realise is that when it was assembled, it well, A, wouldn't go together, uh, B, wouldn't have instructions, C, take three or four weeks to get to me, and on top of all of that, have well, it's finally, if, if I did manage to perfectly put it together, I have given up, I'm not, I'm not finishing this product now, uh, but if I had perfectly put it together, there would have just been exposed, singed bits of wood visible. That's not okay. That all should be painted. There's, that is not okay. I have no idea why they thought that would be okay. I don't get how bits of glue are on here, which I guess doesn't matter. I guess they probably thought the same. I was like, oh, it's a bit of glue. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's all hidden, but it's just, it just reeks of poor quality or no quality at all. So, yeah, um, that, that was why I did this, and I spent a bit of money on it. Not a lot, admittedly. It's not going to break the bank, but that's just how it is. So I, I need to get back on plasticity and learning that and, and making buildings, making bits and pieces, because then what I can do with plasticity, I can say, okay, here's the roof. Print just the roof. And I can then paint it this slate tile. I, I can then put in these, these patterns and stuff. And I can do that three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, how many times it takes me to get it just so, just right, or good enough at least. And then I can do like, oh, here are the steps. Here's the door. Here's the window frames. Here's the walls. Um, sort of like this is, but, you know, it'll actually fit together. Uh, yeah, and I'll be able to just make a nice little signal box. This is really disappointing. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a bit annoyed. But I know I'm not the only ones that have that's had poor service from them. Apparently, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the couple. Of, I already had a couple of comments in the previous video. This is obviously not a large YouTube channel. Uh, I have, I think, 50 subscribers. Thank you for the 50 that have joined. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, um, this isn't working out. So I've asked them for a refund. I will keep you updated. If they refund me, um, I'll probably put something in the video description. I doubt I'm going to bother making another video. If they don't refund me, which apparently is um, something which they sometimes do. Again, I'm only reading anecdotal things online. I don't want to be sort of over the top with it. Um, if they don't refund me, I'm just going to have to speak to my credit card, I guess, and just say, well, this is a substandard product, so we need to, you know, need to sort something out here. Um, I don't think we should financially reward this. This is just... This is awful. I mean, look, I look, literally, it's just a bit of card. It's just a bit of card, which a laser machine is zapped over pretty quick, and it's just so... How is that supposed to attach to that? It, it doesn't, because as soon as you do attach it, you you, you run a very high risk of, of physical uh, glue being visible the whole time. So it's, it's just, I just think the whole, as you can see, look, and here, this didn't happen, but it has happened now. So you see there's a little bit of glue at the top there. I've missed it. And at the bottom, notice there's a gap now. That gap was not there. This part has sunk in slightly because I can't glue it here because if I glue it here, it's just it's just going to be visible. And again, the instructions don't tell me what to do. The instructions didn't tell me that the, 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 the guidelines are in there. There was two sets of guidelines. It didn't tell me what to stick to, what to... And those those are literally just lines lasered in. So I've, can I show it on here? No, I can't. So there is literally just... I can just about see here. There's there's, there's lines lasered in. There's a line there and there's a line next to it. And the, the glue marks on here was me trying to stick this on. But it doesn't tell you, oh, you know, slot it into that line. You can't slot it in because it's not thick enough and... As soon as you try and slot this, it just it just disintegrates in your hand. I'm not great at model making, but this is yeah, this is awful. Anyway, right, I've, got, I've ranted enough. I, I keep doing this on my videos. I do apologise. So I am. Um, I've asked for a refund now. Someone says he's um he sent off the my last video to to Toby. Um, I don't know what that's going to achieve because I'm I'm just unhappy with the product now, and I think we've reached the point of no return in terms of me being satisfied with this item. I just think it's just poor quality, and I'm not. I'm not happy to continue to try to try doing this or buy any more of their products. Um, it's disappointing, but that's how it goes. That's just my opinion. You know, other people probably are okay with it. And they must be, right? Because they're still in business. They've been in business for a few years. But certainly, if, if like me, if your if your temperament is uh, newbie modeler, you like good instructions, you like being told what to do. This is what the steps are. You know, this this is step one. And when you've done step one, this is what it should look like. This is step two. When you've done step two, this is what it should look like. You know, I, I like idiot instructions because I am an idiot. Um, if, if you're like me, this this model is probably definitely not for you. Perhaps if you're super experienced, if you've been doing this for 20 years, actually, this is probably just a walk in the park. You probably don't even look at the instructions. You just figure it out as you go. I am definitely not one of those people. There is no warning on that. And it's just the, the poor service of it taking several weeks to come to me, even though it's supposedly in stock and ready to go, according to the website. Um, the, the brick the brick uh, work pieces being badly cut. I mean, that's that's definitely not me. That's just... That's just poor workmanship. If I'm perfectly, if I'm perfectly blunt, um, 
and then the no instructions being there and now they've all of a sudden gone very quiet about the refund although I'll give them benefit of that on that one like I say but yeah this is just I'm not I'm not going to spend like an hour or two trying to sort this and rescue this and get a subpar model when actually I, I could spend I can invest like several hours admittedly a lot more time but then I can actually 3D print something myself with parts and make it look nice and make it good um, I think that's where I'm going to go with this so yeah it's a disappointment but it is what it is, and what it is, I shall have to just get over it. Okay, right, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and thank you for the, the couple of people that commented on the previous video, and, you know, let me know their experiences. Apparently, I'm not the only one. It's, it's not just me. That was reassuring, so thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it's a shame. So, yeah, next video is not going to be about the signal box. Um, the next one is going to be something else. Um, I just want to make it clear as well, this video is is just called Richard at this point in time. I'm not going to turn this. I, I, yeah, this may this may end up being my my Roddle Railway channel, and maybe I'll make other channels to do other things. But um, just as an aside, that this channel is going to be whatever I want it to be. So I may talk about other things, other subjects which aren't related to this hobby. Not sure if that's a good idea. Let me know. Let, yeah, if if you're only here for the, the model content, if if I talked about something like solar panels or electric cars or something, would you be interested? Let me know. Um, would that annoy you as a subscriber? I, I haven't got many subscribers. It doesn't matter. This channel's never going to be anything special. But yeah, let me know in the comments if um, if you feel actually that, yeah, that, that would annoy you. Maybe I should make a second channel. Um, maybe I should make a channel per subject that I'm planning to make videos about. Because this is quite easy. I'm just talking for a, for a camera. This modern technology is amazing. I just, I just hit upload and it's gone. It's brilliant. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. Have a great weekend. Um, hopefully my Sunday will be less frustrating than my Saturday. Hey-ho. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.